without getting specific. I, I haven't found a boyfriend off Tinder and I don't think the chances of finding a boyfriend off Tinder are very high unless, now this is going to sound really, really superficial, um, but I have to say it anyways because I feel like it's the truth. A lot of the guys on Tinder that are attractive, I feel like are not there for a relationship. And then there are a lot of average or below average looking guys and those are the ones that are on there for a relationship and I'm don't In other words, um, you're chasing Chad, you can't lock him down, and now you're claiming that there are no men who want to date you at all. Even though there are oceans of men who would be willing to date you, but in your words, you know, they're too boring, they're, they're just regular guys, right? Yo, what is going on, Warband? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's show, we're looking at video submission through the Patreon titled My Experience Being Plus Size and on Tinder. But before we crack into it, guys, if you're new here, you're enjoying the videos, make sure you come and join the Discord link in the description. We got a bit of a community over here that we're building up. Come and join the Discord. Subscribe if you're new, if you're liking the videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, guys, come and join the Patreon. The link for that is in the description. You get access to some exclusive videos. I'm recording one after this, and uh, it's a great way to support the channel. But let's see what she's got to say. Don't know if that's sounding very um, superficial, but I feel like it's truthful. Um, at least from my experience on Tinder, if you've had a different experience, your experience is your own and that's your truth, but this is my truth and what I've kind of encountered. So then I'm, I'm going to start talking about like my experience, I guess. So I didn't really know exactly what to expect, um, with the type of attention I would get. I didn't know if I wouldn't get attention or if I would get attention, um, things like that, just because I am plus size and I had never done any sort of online matching dating like that before. Here's the thing. As a girl, you're always going to get attention. You go on a dating app, you'll get lots more attention than men. You go outside, you know, you go get a coffee, you go to the post office, wh whatever it is you're doing, you will get far more attention um, than men will ever get in the dating market. Even if you're, you don't take care of your body at all, even if your attitude is terrible, you're going to get more attention than the average man. I'd just like to point out as well, at the start of that sentence that she said, you know, this is my truth, my truth, as if truth is a subjective thing rather than it uh, rather than something that's actually objective uh very interesting isn't it before so i wasn't expecting attention necessarily and i would say some days are better than others like if i'm just chilling in bed and i'm swiping there are some days where i'm matching with every single person i swipe right on and then there are other days where i'm matching with nobody <laughs> um, i i find that hard to believe um that in any case, you're getting significantly more matches than the average man ever would in his life. And I want you guys to keep in mind the fact that at the start, she said that she hasn't got a boyfriend, right? So she, and it seems as though she's positioned as though perhaps she wants a boyfriend, um, but she just can't seem to get one from this app. Um, so I, I will tell, like, I'm just going to tell you a statistic, I guess. Um, I have had Tinder since since last year, and I have 940- Whoa, whoa, okay, we're not showing faces. No, no, no. I feel like if they get Tinder, they're going to be made fun of, or they're not going to get attention, or they're not going to get matches, and that is entirely not true. There are so many people, I mean, I'm from a, I wouldn't call it a big city by any means, but I'm from a city that has a high population, and um, there is going to be- a proportion of those people that are going to find you attractive for one way for one reason or another whether it be like I said relationship wise or if they truly are looking for something more momentary and um... man that's just <laughs> you see when we watch a lot of these videos guys a lot of the girls will come to the conclusion that well if a man really likes you and if he's the one he's going to accept you the way you are you see you see that line um, that sentence is used on beta guys to, you know, secure them at the end of the rainbow. Once they're done seeing Chad through their 20s, 30s, and quite frankly, beyond then, um, they want to turn around and go, you know what, a man, a real man's going to accept me with all my flaws, all, all of these things. Maybe she's got two kids. Uh, maybe her body's just completely ruined from all the years of partying. Maybe she doesn't exercise. And she's going to want to turn around and secure. She wants to secure that guy. She wants to get married to that guy. You guys ever notice how girls, when they're 30, you know, in their 30s and stuff like that, they get married very quick. Or they have children very quick. They meet the guy within two years, they're married, and they've got a kid on the way or something like that. It's, it's because what they're doing is they're actually checking out of the dating market, 
right? That, and, you know, it insults men because when, when that man, that, uh, that guy that she picks up for those two years and they're in a relationship now, she says that she loves him. She says that he's att she's attracted to him. Um, chances are she's not attracted to him. Chances are she doesn't respect him. It was just a time sensitive thing. And he's the second choice. Guys, do not be a girl's second choice, please. Don't, guys, don't lower your standards. Do not be someone's source of attention, someone's source of validation um, to, to try and get in with them. One, it's not going to work. And two, you're worth more than that. So don't bother. Let's continue. Um, I don't know if that's a word. Something less substantial, more hookup -y. So there's that also. Um, don't be afraid that you're not going to get attention because I guarantee you will. And you might get attention. That, that's sad. From people that you are not even, um, you didn't even know you get attention from. Like, um, there are a lot of guys that are from my area that I went to high school with or I know from friends of a friends and I've matched with them and I've been like, that's really weird because in person or when we went to school together, you weren't interested in me. And now that people don't know about you being interested in me, you're interested in me. Like if that makes sense, like there are a lot of guys that think plus size girls are attractive or something like that, but they won't they won't outwardly show that like they won't have a crush on you in school or they won't date you um, just because they don't want their friends or their peers or anybody to know that they're attracted to you. So it, it's almost like they don't want to commit to you. You see, guys will sleep up and they'll, they'll sleep down. They'll date up and they'll date down. Um, but the thing is, why would he date you? Why, why would Chad commit to you when he has all of these other women available and you, you don't take care of your own body? I, like. You literally don't take care of your own body and you're you're kind of frustrated that chad won't, won't commit to you when he's got other options i mean he'll he'll sleep with you for one night hey if he, if he can jump on a dating app and just order you to his house he's going to do that you know we, we as men we'll do that we'll be like oh yeah well you know it's kind of a slow wednesday night i'll, I'll order this six to my house through tinder right if given the opportunity men will do that okay but you're not going to get the commitment because like why would he why would he need to take you on a date? Why would he need to, to, you know, do X, Y, Z for you when he knows he can just order you to his house because he's leagues above you and you, you know, he's leagues above you as well. Right. And then you turn around and you complain about the lack of men. There's only, oh, there's only average men left. See, they don't want average guys. They want the guys at the top 10% and they'll waste their youth trying to chase him and trying to lock him down. Don't be the safety net at the end guys. Do not be the safety net at the end. So they'll do it secretly on an app and then try to get with you that way. I have definitely found that to be true. A hundred percent. So those are things that might surprise you. And that is definitely something that I have found to be true with the app. There are a lot of, again, this might be superficial or stereotypical, but this is just how my mind works. There are a lot of guys that I swipe right on that I match with and I think in my head they are really, really attractive and I feel like there's no way in hell that they would be attracted to me if this were real life. Yeah, they're not going to date you, right? They're not going to buy you dinners and give you flowers and stuff like that. Certainly not, right? Um, but yeah, there's just guys that I, I feel like wouldn't necessarily walk up to me at a bar or talk to me in public or if we went to school together be interested in me just because they're afraid of what other people are gonna think so that's something that also might surprise you for tinder um also my i have like a few tips i guess that i would oh, tell no, you guys, guys. Oh, no. when you're using tinder um i would always be honest um just like i okay. guess you should be in any aspect of your life i would always be honest with your pictures and with your intentions so Okay, the second one is a bit of a, a bit of a red flag, but the first one is like you get all these women who are quote unquote plus size and they'll lie about their body type and try and uh, catfish men. So the first one's good. You want to show some honesty and show what you actually look like. Hey, that that that's great. Um, rather than you know the, just the pictures of them from torso up where you can't even tell what they actually look like. Um, but the second one, let, let's hear a bit more about that. So there is a section on Tinder, a bio where you can write anything you want about yourself you can yeah. write um like factual things about yourself my stomach just growled i don't know if you guys heard that we did you can write factual things about yourself or you can write what you're looking for so um i have a quote um oh, on no. mine and I, know, I was debating if i should read it oh, to you no, guys, guys. i didn't know um 
how you guys would take it, but I, if I'm being honest, I will be. Um, mine says feminist, and then. Oh no! Oh no! Space, space. It says looking for more than an eight-second ride. Space, space. A woman who priori prioritizes her sexual needs prioritizes herself. What? Why would you write that? You, you're complaining. You you can't get commitment from Chad, and you have a bio like that where you're literally just phrasing yourself as as I'm um, someone who's only there for pleasure. You're complaining that men are only there using you for pleasure, right? When your bio is literally that. I I man, that just that just absolutely blows my mind. That's crazy. But we're gonna leave today's video there, guys. I think this that's enough of this one. Um, leave your thoughts on the way out, guys. Share an opinion. Um, share a story you have, maybe your experiences, stuff like that. Subscribe on your way out if you're enjoying or like the video, guys. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, come and join the Patreon, guys. There's a link for that in the description. It's a great way to support the channel, and you guys get some extra videos and bits and pieces. So go and check that out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo boys, it's Taylor here. I just want to say thank you if you've made it to the end of the video. And if you've been enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe on your way out, join the Discord, and check out the Patreon link in the description. See you boys in the next one. Put myself together, we can't make a pose your